I first heard her heartbeat while I was in prison when I went to the doctor. I mean, I had my mind up to come to rehab, but right then and there, my mind was really totally set. I needed to get my life together. I needed to become a mommy. I thought I had good parenting skills. I love my babies a lot. I was close to getting them taken away from me. I was very close. Yeah, it scares me. Today I feel good about being a mom. While I was in my addiction, I kind of thought it was a hassle. I wanted everyone to think everything was going okay, but it never really was. I had to plead my case for them to let me out early and to come to treatment so I could have the baby outside of the prison walls. I have been homeless periodically through my addiction and I was spared that because I was at my mom's house. I love my children and I want to honor that, being a good role model. I don't clean up, take care of my son the way he needs to be taken care of. He's gonna go through the same thing I did. I don't ever want my child to be in rehab one day, sitting here wondering why his mommy didn't love him. I started using weed and uh, drinking and smoking cigarettes at 11, and I didn't start using meth until I was 13. My family kind of introduced it to me. My dad did. I was in an abusive relationship, mentally and physically. I took my babies and I came down here. Once the mom enters the program, CPS starts the process. They may start with visitations a couple hours a week, and then they'll make some decision as to when they will place the child with the mother here in the program. The key thing is creating a safe environment where the clients open up and talk to us about their past experiences. His way of dealing with a lot of the situations was to beat the crap out of me with my daughter in my arms. Our last fight, he beat me up. I put him in jail and jumped on a plane and left everything I had and came out, came back home. My grandma Sherry, she was my best friend. She used to do a lot of drugs too when she was younger. She had a stroke because of him. And I actually took care of her for a long time and she ended up dying. About the year before I got pregnant, she died. And so during my pregnancy, that was the cause of a couple of my relapses. I felt I always had trouble concentrating, paying attention, um, being motivated. A lot of symptoms which I later came to um, identify with the ADD. I've told myself I need this drug, it's my medicine for it. I have guilt issues, so I feel I have to buy her and give her everything when she comes here. But I've tried to stop that in the last couple of weeks. I haven't gone all out and done a lot of things. Just let her hang out with the kids here and just let her realize that this is life. And I gotta show her how to live life on life's terms, which is hard for me to do. It feels really good to go into a courtroom and not be like all ashamed stuff. What's going on with your kids? My kids are doing really well. You know, at some point they're going to need the guidance of a mother to avoid making the mistakes you made in life. Are you going to be there to oh, give that guidance? 